In this lecture, we're going to be working on new arrivals. Right below this banner image, we're going to add a row which is going to display a list of products in the order in which they were most recently created. And the way that's going to be, uh, the way we're going to be able to make that happen is that when we go to the back end and make a query to the database, that query is going to look at this created at property, which if you look at it, it has a timestamp, all right, the date and time in which it was created. And that's how we're going to be able to determine out of all the products, what were the most recently, what, uh, what are the uh, products that were most recently created. And it's going to list that and it's going to return that back to the front end or return that back to us in the or in, in descending order or the most recent, uh, the items in which they were most recently added. That's how we're going to make that happen. All right. So let's go ahead and start this off. And we are going to start off on the front end, by the way. And then in another video, we'll move our way to the back end. All right. So here, if you look at it, is this is all Redux. So we're going to be setting up our Redux. And at the end, we're going to create an action function, which is what's going to be used on the front end to make that, that, uh, make that call to the back end. So let's go ahead and start with the constant. We're going to open our Redux folder. And here in our constants folder, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it filter const constants.js. And here we're going to create one constant and that's going to be called get new arrivals. Get new arrivals. All right, that's it for the constant. Next, we're going to work on the reducer. So let's go ahead and um, collapse this constants folder. And for the reducers folder, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call that filter constants.js. All right, all right. So now I'm not going to do this from scratch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, I'm going to, I have this products reducers file here and I'm going to copy everything from here. I'm going to close it up and then inside our filter constants file, we're going to paste that in here and we're just going to make adjustments. So first thing is we're going to import from filter constants and what we're going to import is that constant that we just re that we just created which was uh, get new arrivals. All right, and for the initial state, we're gonna have new arrivals, and that will be an empty array by default. And for this here, instead of product reducer, we're gonna call it filter reducers, filter reducer, and here at the bottom, filter reducer and what we can do here is we can delete all these cases except this top one and we're going to rename this one to our constant which was get new arrivals and this is going to be what we're going to do is we're going to spread into an array Uh, why is it doing that? We're going to spread out the action payload that comes from the back end into this array. And then we're going to store that into our new arrivals property, which is over here. By default, it's an empty array. But when the back end sends its response from the back end, we're going to spread out that data into this right here. Okay, and then everything else stays the same. That's it for our uh, reducer. Next is we have to add our reducer that we just created into the Redux store. So let's go ahead and collapse these folders here and open up our store.js. And I'm going to copy this here, paste below, and we're going to call this 
filter reducer and that's coming from our filter reducer file filter reducers file i'm going to copy this row here paste filter and then filter reducer actually i'm going to with the plural filters all right i'm going to save that Uh, let's see here. Reduces no such file directory. Filter reducer. Oh, oh, did I? Oh, I gave this wrong name. Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna rename here. You guys probably caught that earlier, but I'm gonna have to rename instead of reducers this. Um, the filter I call it filter constant. I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna go here, rename, and instead of filter constants, is filter reducers. Js. All right, there we go. I'm gonna save that. All right. So now, now you can see that that error goes away. All right, so now we took care of adding our reducer into the Redux store. And finally, we're gonna create an action function. So I'm gonna go collapse these and then, in, oh, inside our actions folder, I'm gonna create a new file and call this filteractions.js. I'm going to open another file here. I'm going to open up product actions because again, we're not going to, we can just uh, copy and just make adjustments accordingly. So I'm going to copy that from there and paste that into our empty filter actions file. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top. So we, for this file, we are going to be making an Axios request. And we can keep the start loading and stop loading. For the messages, uh, I'm only gonna keep the show error message. And for the constants, we're just we're gonna go into our filter constants and bring in our get new arrivals constants constant. Now I'll get into this code here. Um, I'm gonna delete this here. The only thing I'm gonna keep is this action function get products and that's the one we're going to just make adjustments on but everything else we're going to delete okay so the only action function left here inside this file should be the get products all right so let's make change this up instead of get products we're going to call this get new arrivals this is going to take in two arguments um, it's going to be a sort by, and by the by the following one, we do the sending, and then the other one is going to be a limit argument, and by default, it's going to be a limit of three, All right? So the limit is the purpose of the limit is that when we make that when we're sending the data or that response from the back end, um, it could be you know I mean essentially I want to send back all of the 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 product the. The, the products from the back end in this in the descending order but we want to limit that to send no more than the, the 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 three most recent items all right that's the purpose of this limit is to just send the three most recent products as opposed to sending us all the products and the, the sort by is it could be either uh, ascending or descending but obviously I mean this is for new arrivals so it but that's why by default I'm just sending it to the descending. Okay, so next, uh, let's see. All right, so we're gonna set up the try catch and it's gonna start the loading process. And then here we're gonna make our Axios request and we're just, it's gonna be API filter forward slash filter. And we're gonna do a question mark because we're gonna be using queries to send back these two queries to the back end. So um, in addition to that, we're gonna use back text because we're going to use some JavaScript. And we are going to, the first query is a sort by, and that's going to be equal to the sort by. All right. 
which is going to be what we get here. And then we add an ampersand to say that we want to add an additional query. And then that second query is going to be the, for the limit and pass in the limit. All right, so this is the route that's going to be, be made use of to go to the back end. All right, then we're going to stop loading. And then for this final dispatch is we're not going to get products. We're going to call get, we're going to call get new arrivals. And as a payload here, when we get that response from, from this Axios, we're going, to, we're going to place it here as a payload and it's going to be response data. And then instead of products, we're going to be we're going to be returning as a response from the back end a property called new arrivals. All right. I have not worked on the back end and, and I haven't created this property yet, but just, I just know ahead of time right now that I will be as a re that when we get to the back end, the response, I'm going to send a property with all the data inside a property called new arrivals. So that's why I'm saying response data and then new arrivals here. All right, so in the catch block, we can just change this to get new products, API error, stop loading, and then everything else stays the same. All right, so that's it for that. Uh, all right, so we're done with our action function. I'm gonna close this up. And that is it. All right, so now we we have everything set up on the front end. So now we can move our way to the back end. And that back end is going to read off or it's going to see that this is the request that's being made to the back end and read this. And we're going to grab these two queries, which is going to be sort by and limit and make use of it to make our query to the database.